So the vestibular system has a variety of different pathways, and there are direct pathways and then a lot of association pathways that we have to understand with the vestibular system. We start again with that level of the receptor. We have those partner receptors that carry information in a comparative way into the uh, brainstem complex that houses these vestibular nuclei. So the cranial, the eighth cranial nerve will carry that information from the left and right sides and then carry it into the vestibular nuclei. And we have these four vestibular nuclei that are situated across the medulla partway in the pons and they're going to sit all the way up into the roof of, of the brainstem and also connect very specifically and closely to the cerebellum. So in some neuroscience textbooks, you'll see that the vestibular complex is sometimes thought to be a part of the cerebellum, and then other times people separate it and say that no, there's a brainstem component and a cerebellar component. Certainly in the cerebellum, there is a particular component of the cerebellum, a deep set of structures in the medial part, and then fanning out in the way that the cerebellum does that nice fan in the peduncle. Isn't that a great word, the peduncle? And it fans out. So in that, there's something called the flocular nodular node, and that is uh, a very specific vestibular cortex that sits in there. Um, and so we have this relationship, this really inti intimate relationship between the vestibular system and the cerebellum. If we think about the cerebellum, its primary job is to help create smoothness in our production. So in the production of our action, uh, and that, so that would be everything from our gait to the precision of our fine motor control to the fluidity with which we can use our oral motor structure. So it's this fine tuning system that smooths out, but it also smooths out all of our social, emotional, and cognitive functions. And so we have this smoothness that can happen where we're able to have established and shared rhythmicity in our connection, in our communication in the way that we connect and engage with people and with objects. And that fluidity all comes from that vestibular cerebellum, that really important smoothing and accuracy generator. So the vestibular system uses this information about space and about body and about head position and about the, the world coming in around you to tell you about how you can exquisitely be smooth and accurate. When we have people who have vestibular difficulties, we're often going to see massive de degradation in that smoothness and accuracy. And it isn't always an all or none phenomenon because that node in the cerebellum is quite broad. It's, it's, uh, encompasses a lot of different aspects of processing from fine motor to gross motor functions and then into those social motor functions, including our thought and problem solving functions. So there's lots of distribution in that cerebellar aspect of the vestibular representation. And so you can have relative more difficulty in one aspect of it or the other. In other words, it's not an all or none phenomenon when you have difficulties with that graded smoothing that happens from the cerebellum.